Hey guys, um, what's up everyone? It's Jackie Felix here, and today I just want to make a quick video about the KR patch notes. Um, something very inter interesting in the KR patch notes, uh, some of the large scale or sea changes that was impl implemented last week on Global Labs have made it live to KR servers. So I just want to go through two of the important changes with you guys. So my bad last week, I thought it was... Um, 3 billion silver additional for the guild but it was actually 3 billion silver of net value to um, each individual member of the winning guild and additionally there are also rewards for guilds that um, who stalemate the region and also guilds that get defeated or their fort goes down during the conquest or siege war so um, yeah let me go through the reward system with you guys real quick so just go to my discord um, has the translations. So what what this is is For the guild that wins the region each person will get two billion worth of gold bars a um, thousand uh, ancient spirit dust which translates to um, around about uh, Two uh, two hundred kafras, I believe a uh, hundred cron stones 84 of the new war medals three loot scrolls and three supreme old moon scrolls now this next chest is if you uh, if your fort goes down or if you're dis defeated during siege. So you can get um, 100 million gold bars. Everyone, uh, everyone gets 100 million gold bars. Um, and then I think an additional 50 million gold bars. So 150 mil and 10 war medals. And then if, the, um, if your fort's still up and the uh, region is liberated, that means the castle owner doesn't get taken out without the allocated within the allocated time. Then each uh, member will get an additional 500 mil in gold bars and also 36 war medals. Now that's pretty big. Um, and I just want to go through an exchange with you guys, which is pretty big as well. So before it costs around 50 mil silver to drop down Fort for Siege, which is you know pretty much nothing. Um, but now they change it to a billing silver. Now a billing silver is a fair amount of silver. So what this means is that um, essentially if you're a merc guild or you're a snipe guild looking to drop a siege to get some easy payouts, this probably isn't going to work out that well for you anymore. Because you know, 100, 1 billion silver is a decent amount of silver and you're definitely going to run out of silver pretty quick if you keep on dropping on regions and um, it just uh, with the intent of sniping and also there's only three regions now it's only Calfion, uh, Medaya and Valencia and pretty much I don't think there's any chance for any snipe guild to control or win any, any of these regions um, so yeah those were the two major changes for the KR patch notes now I assume this would come in live on the other regions such as NAEU uh, in two or three weeks from now, maybe even sooner than that. I guess we'll see and What I think about these changes so in addition so about the new rewards. I think it's really good change Definitely makes siege a lot more incentivizing for uh, newer guilds or gives uh, siege guilds um, more reason to actually participate in siege because there's actually decent rewards for the members that even if you don't win there's still some pretty decent rewards, right? Um, so do I think that it would gen uh, really generate more good fights for Siege? I don't think so. I think it will more be about alliances controlling each region and kind of rotating it. But, you know, I don't, I don't think that's that big of a deal. I, I think there might be some big fights from time to time, which is good in the current system because the current system, there's really no fights happening at all. And um, also with the caps on mercs, it will also incentivize more guilds to actually build proper siege guilds rather than just merc stacking on the weekend. So I think that's a good change. Now for the additional cost to plant a structure down from 50 mil to 1 billion silver, I think this is a really good change. I also think something like this should be implemented for node wards as well. Where most of the costs in terms of placing down a fort should be in the fort itself and not so much as structures. 
So I think the cost of the structure should be reduced while the cost of building the fort uh, should be increased by quite a bit. And that will reduce the um, likelihood of guilds dropping on those within 10 of the sniping for payouts. So yeah guys, some pretty big changes. I'm really excited for these changes. It, they're definitely in the right direction. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I'll read through all of them. And apart from that, I hope you guys enjoy the video and you're as excited for these no, siege changes as I am. Uh, apart from that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.